You know guys, it isn't often that the Scadmaster goes back to back on videos trashing Call of Duty. And look guys, I know, I know, I've been on a little bit of a rampage here on the channel just spewing negativity, quote unquote, you know? And so I actually start feeling bad for the gooch lickers out there that get upset with me, you know? Like, some of these people genuinely start tweaking in the comments. Like, I get people to genuinely tweak because I have an opinion about Call of Duty. And I know there's a lot of COD taint eaters out there, especially the old bald ones that talk about, Oh, the easiest clicks you can get are when you're hating for views and you're creating drama. Yup, that's definitely the easiest bag you can make here talking about Call of Duty, yup. It's about hating, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense to me. Fucking morons. Like, I genuinely have gooch lickers fucking tweaking out in the comments. Shut the fuck up, tubby. Just let it be known. Your experience in this next Call of Duty matters more to me than it does to Activision. Because you guys aren't actually paying me any money to watch my videos. It's literally for free. Which, by the way, if you like this free service, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. You guys have genuinely been killing it the last few videos. Let's try to keep that up, you know what I'm saying. But seriously, guys, if you saw my last video, then you know there's been just a, a, quite a bit of terrible things things going on all at once in Call of Duty, and unfortunately the fuckery does not end there. Like, it's getting to the point where I'm actually kind of losing, you know, my fan perspective hope of Call of Duty Black Ops 6, because there's simply more nonsense to be expected with this upcoming game, despite all of the people gassing it up for being four years of development. You know, when I think of four years of development, I think of something that's been polished, I think of something that's been well produced and that it's going to be a product where every single angle that you need in a working game has been worked on. It's been covered. There should not be any portion of our community that is deprived of something in a game that supposedly has four years of development behind it. Yeah, listen! Well, unfortunately, if you're a 6v6 fan, yeah, that's, that's not happening. I, I don't know how, but this comes out from the Ghost of Hope, guys. He says, The COD community, when they realize Black Ops 6v6 support won't be as good as MW 2019 Part 3. And I mean, like, wow. Like, if you were to tell any regular fan of COD that this next game's not gonna have as much 6v6 support as the last game, MW 2019 Part 3, some people might actually look at last year's game and say, well, you know what? MW MW 2019 Part 3 actually had a lot of good 6v6 support post-launch, so maybe the bar is just too high, right? And maybe it's kind of acceptable for 6v6 content to be kind of lackluster post-launch in the next game. Except, hold on, hold on. First of all, MW 2019 Part 3 was developed very, very rushed, okay? Let's not forget the circumstances as to how MW 2019 Part 3 came to life. Okay, let's not forget it was supposed to be a DLC. Yeah! But secondly, I don't know about you guys, but post-launch content for 6v6 multiplayer in this game, MW 2019 Part 3, it is not as good as people are making it out to be. Don't get me wrong, it is a lot better than it's been in years prior, but... If I'm taking this game that was developed in the time that it took to develop it, versus another AAA title that had four years of development behind it, the game with four years of development should be way ahead. Once again, this is a fat L for Activision. This is one of those things, guys, listen up, listen up. This is one of those things where I genuinely feel like, you know what, at this point, fuck it. Free Suge Knight, because this guy, if you know what he is capable of, we might actually need his services, all right? Look, I'm not trying to get in too deep. All I'm saying is, I need Suge Knight to be in the same room as Bobby Cosby, Joe Seacott, Pat Kelly, some of these washed up old ass has been YouTubers, the entire staff of Activision, and you know what, just for the fuck of it, let's throw Infinity Ward in there too. I need Suge Knight to just do what he does best, all right? <laughs> that, that's all I'm gonna say. Free Suge Knight, all right? Can we get that hashtag going? Free Suge Knight in the comments. But seriously guys, why is this even something that we should start expecting? That 6v6 content post-launch just drops off. 
And the part about it that sucks is not only do I expect this to be completely and utterly true, but the reasoning behind it is something that we can only speculate because that is something that we may never actually find out, except we could probably use context clues and we could probably figure out why this is the case. <coughs> Activision, you can suck my balls. I mean, take a look at this response. This guy says, why wouldn't it be? And the Ghost of Hope says, hmm, you'll see. Don't do that, man. It's gonna be so funny seeing people's reactions. Now, is the Ghost of Hope kind of tugging and pulling at this? I mean, probably, I'm not really surprised. At the end of the day, he's still a goddamn leaker, so you gotta make your money somehow, you know what I'm saying? But even to the point that I spoke on earlier, somebody actually echoes this. He says, Modern Warfare 2019 Part 3s isn't even the best right now either. We're getting more variants than actual maps, which is something that, you know, I was actually gonna mention. But I'll probably save that for my video on like Saturday, for example. We'll talk about MW 2019 Part 3 again. But the Ghost of Hope says, There's a reason for that. Can't speak on it publicly, but it'll come out eventually. Now hold on just a goddamn second, alright? There is bound to be a significant amount of speculation that we're about to dive into in just a second. But this is one of those moments where I kind of got to put up a disclaimer. All right, the things that we're about to talk about right now, they are not confirmed, okay? This is purely speculation. So to the gooch lickers out there, well, fully, you, you were making another eight video. You're latching onto anything for content. Listen, the things that we're about to talk about, they are very, very, very likely to be true. And if some of these things are true, especially what this entire leak is revolving around, that 6v6 multiplayer content is going to be lackluster post-launch, that is absolutely something that concerns pretty much anybody playing this next game. Because we've talked about it before. The launch of the game is extremely important. I've made that point so many different times. And to Treyarch's credit, look, uh-oh, supposedly, Scadmaster Foolie's only a hater, he never talks about anything positive. No! To Treyarch's credit, I completely expect the launch of this game to at least be pretty good. It's definitely gonna be better than the last, like, 5-6 launches that we've seen, so that's good. You're likely to complete step one. But step two is to just make sure that after your launch, you are accommodating your community because we bought your product, you know, that's kind of what you do for your customers and your consumers, and especially your fans. If there is so much as an ounce of a drop-off for a game that supposedly has four years of development, that is not acceptable. If other content creators are telling you otherwise and saying that, we're just hating for views and whatever, anything else like that, just complaining for fun. These guys deserve a first class ticket to Epstein Island via the short bus. Hey guys, what's going on? God damn you. These people do not deserve human rights. As a consumer, giving your money to a corporation that does not need your money, you should absolutely be asking and expecting nothing but the best quality possible. So just keep that in mind before we go any further right now. Guys, there are some theories going on right now that honestly, I can see being true. This guy responds to the Ghost of Hope's tweet and says, they pulled maps for season five and six of MW 2019 part three to give to Treyarch for Black Ops 6. Someone leaked it to blame truth about a week or so ago. It said something to the effect that Activision didn't like that Sledgehammer Games was making the Infinity Tards and Treyarch look bad with post-launch support. And come to think of it, I remember seeing Blame Truth's video about this. And at the time, you know, once again, as like a natural, regular human being, you know, I didn't just spawn into the world hating Call of Duty. I saw that video, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really buy it all that much. But then, all of these rumors recently started coming out about how Activision was afraid of H2M's success going up against Black Ops 6. Why? If Black Ops 6 is supposed to be this masterpiece of a title of four years of development, why? And then we got news that Verdansk was being delayed in Black Ops 6. Why? How is there a delay? How are you behind on something? And don't forget that some of the leaks came out about Black Ops 6's multiplayer and a lot of people were coping, talking about, oh, it's a pre-alpha, it's a pre-alpha. Eh, nope, that was the beta build. And if you didn't like what you saw, I mean, <laughs> 
You know, it's not really looking all that good. What I'm trying to get at, guys, is that when you start connecting all of these little pieces and bits, you know, individually, one of these things may seem pretty insignificant, right? But when you combine that with every single thing else, then it starts painting a picture. The picture that I'm seeing as the Scad Master is that Activision is in the background pulling strings in a way that the community will never see. <laughs> Next year, we're supposed to be getting COD 2025 by who? Oh yeah, right now it's rumored that it's by Treyarch. I think it was something like Treyarch and Raven Software, maybe with the assistance of Sledgehammer Games. What they're essentially doing is the exact same as MW 2019 Part 2 and Part 3, but for the Black Ops series. And what that makes me think is that Activision is trying to pull Treyarch in a way where all of their work that they originally had for this game is being spread out across two different years. Remember, MW 2019 Part 2 and Part 3. Hear me and hear me good, nigga. I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a two-pack of ass. <laughs> The fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks. My theory, now having heard all of these things, all of these leaks, and seeing Blame Truth's leaks from before as well, I think Activision has taken some of Sledgehammer Games' maps out of Season 5, 6, and onwards to put up as post-launch content in Black Ops 6, as well as whatever's supposed to be coming out in COD 2025. Please! Please! Think about it, guys. If you are these fat, disgusting, slobberish fucking mud pigs over at Activision that are just existing for the sake of earning and making more money at the expense of your entire community, would you rather launch a game that's gonna have a total of 40 total maps or spread that across two different years, giving one game 20 to 25 maps and the next game 15 to 20? And I'm not just talking about maps, I'm talking about other things too, like concepts, events, ideas, weapons, equipment, skins. And like I said, we're gonna talk about this in my next video where I get to talk about MW 2019 part three, but the lackluster content that we've been seeing as of late, the answer might lie in the existence of these next two titles. And if that's the case, I mean, not only do you guys belong in the Gulag, but you also belong on the short bus. And not only that, you belong on Epstein Island. And not only that, your cellmate who do you think we're gonna give you? I'll tell you, it's one of these two motherfuckers, all right? You're either getting Diddy or you're getting Suge Knight. You choose. You can't choose neither, all right? You can choose both. I mean, you're probably incompetent enough to do that, but seriously, there is something fundamentally going wrong over in the background with Activision, where, of course, not only are they depriving their own community and just dragging things along for the sake of making more money, but they're also completely and utterly mistreating their development studios. And yes, I shit all over these development studios all the time, and deservedly so. All right, like Infinity Ward, like these guys actually have the combined IQ of my cat's shit that's shaped like a cock. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, they make Sledgehammer Games their bottom bitch to just pick up the pieces wherever there's a gap, and then Treyarch's over in a goddamn sweatshop like every single goddamn development cycle. Once again, at its root, everything leads back to Activision. I say all of this to say, if you like playing COD, listen, I'm right there with you. Some of these games are utterly pitiful. All right, I don't hate them, but they're very, very disappointing. But as a long-term Call of Duty fan, I still feel the urge to play, right? That's just a natural thing. That doesn't make you a gooch licker. That doesn't make you a COD fanboy. It doesn't make you a hater. You're just a regular person, right? You wanna play COD because it's COD. Just keep all of these leaks and all of these pieces of news, all of it, keep it in mind. Because when you give Activision your money through purchasing the game, through pre-ordering it, through microtransactions post-launch, you encourage Activision to continue all of these nasty, disgusting business tactics for them to dry out your pockets in any which way possible. My recommendation, if you really, really need to scratch that Call of Duty itch, play the game without buying it. There are several ways to do this. Scadmaster would talk, but... I know the higher-ups at YouTube and the higher-ups over at Activision, they're not very fond of me already, you know? I I'm not trying to go missing in a couple of months without a trace, you know what I'm saying? I should probably shut up before they get Suge Knight on me. Guys, the point of everything that I'm trying to tell you 
I'm not saying don't play COD because that is completely your choice. All I'm saying is if you don't really like the things that they're doing in the background, you can still play their game without supporting them monetarily. That's it. I hope that makes sense, okay? I'm not out here just creating hate and just spreading narratives just for the fuck of it. Like, I actually believe the things that I tell you guys. It's up to you if you want to follow along. You don't need to. I'm just here to spread the message. You do what you gotta do, alright? I'm the scat master. You're you. Activision are a bunch of greedy goddamn mud pigs. And we got a free Shug Knight. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about all this. Are any of these leaks starting to make more and more sense to you in the bigger picture? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Peace.